Hello everyone, it has been quite a while since we have posted a video, so we owe it to you guys to finally provide an update and I guess an explanation. To put it simply, Ryan and I have just been super busy recently. If you do not know, Ryan is the other person who is heavily involved with this channel, but he recently went back to school and I recently have gotten busier with my full-time job. However, I'm still very optimistic that more videos and more projects will be done in the near future so let's just get into it. I know there are a lot of questions about Fortnite clone, but before I get to that, I want to show you guys some game of stuff that we have been working on, specifically our tutorial project, so that we can make more tutorials covering all of the features of Amazon Gamelift, as well as redo our existing tutorials to be much smoother and better flowing. So what you are seeing currently is what we have done so far. The player simply clicks on a button and joins a game. Each game session is limited to hold only 4 players in a game. I also implemented some simple matchmaking logic. Basically once at least 2 players have joined the game, and at least half the players ready up by pressing the Y key, the game is no longer joinable by other players, thereby simulating a game that is quote unquote started. A player can either join an existing game that hasn't quote unquote started, or create a new game in which that player will be the first one to join. These games aka game sessions get destroyed when no one is left in the game, or only one person in a quote unquote start a game is left. Right now in this demonstration, there are only 3 game sessions in this fleet. So if there are 3 quote unquote games that have started, then new players cannot join because there are no game sessions available. The logic is pretty random I admit, but the main goal of what was done so far was to modify the Gamelift Client SDK to include logic involving queues so that you guys can make games with Gamelift spending the least amount of money possible using Linux server builds and spot fleets. However, we are only 90% of the way there because that logic that was just mentioned was technically written in Unreal Engine when there is a feature called Flex Match in Gamelift that actually handles matchmaking logic for you. So once we get around to implementing that, we will release a lot of tutorials revolving around Gamelift and I am super excited for that. Now on to Fortnite clone. So I will admit off the bat that we haven't been working too much on it in the past few months because we've been so busy. The plan is to work on it more after the Gamelift tutorials are done and make it really nice before the end of the year. We have had great people in our Discord who have actually been working on it, improving the graphics tremendously, so huge thank you to them. And I just want to thank all the people who have been active in our Discord since it really motivates us to keep going and keep making stuff for you guys to enjoy. If you guys are interested in those Gamelift tutorials or Fortnite clone, please support us on Patreon or send us a donation through PayPal. Literally anything would help. We recently got accepted into the GitHub Sponsors Program, which is basically Patreon, but on GitHub. So I will provide a link to that once all of that is set up. And that is pretty much it. Don't forget to follow us on all of our other social medias, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.